attempt of looking like Philip Schofield so just call me Tommy Schofield. Now I've got a treat for you ladies and gentlemen for tonight one night only we have a civil partnership can we welcome Connor and John Flanagan on the show everybody. Oh yes. <laughs> oh. How are you guys doing today? Then? I'm doing <laughs> fine darling. <laughs> you look very nervous tonight uh, boys what's going on? I'm not nervous, are you nervous, darling? A little bit, I'm not a lot. Why are you nervous, darling? <laughs> Just now. Uh... You guys know each other inside and out. Oh, yeah. I know him very well inside. <laughs> but out as well. I no, we've never it. had this before. We've never had a civil partnership come onto the show and try and test what they know about. Now it's going to work, people. We've got three rounds going on. <laughs> I'm going to explain it quickly before the set falls in. <laughs> but basically, round one, these two are going to have to answer questions about each other. If they get it right, they get a point and they get a bag of crisps! Yes, we're playing for a bag of crisps for every one they get right. Then when we move to round two, it's going to be the paddle game where they have to sit there and get the right colours to bloody match them a point. And if they get a point then, they win something else. I'm not going to tell you what because we ain't fought that far ahead just yet. And then to scrap it all off at the last round, they're going to be playing all or nothing where they can risk what they've won on the last golden question or they can just go home. They can just go home and go, do you know what? Yeah, I've had my fun. There we go. Fun, darling, in me. Are you ready for the first round? Oh, yeah. darling, I'm ready for all the rounds you can throw at me. Well, let's play round one. Well, round one is above us, and Connor is going to ask John the questions first. So, John, can you step into the chair, my it's friends? It's going to be fine, darling. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. If you want to put the headphones fine, on him, put the headphones on It's going to be fine, darling. It's just the first time I've put something hard on you. It's fine. <laughs> Right, here we go. It is fine. Remember, this is a family show. Remember the bondages we did last okay. night? Okay, that's all right. Right, can you hear anything? Can you hear oh, anything? You very sexy You're a wanker. Friend. You're a wanker. You're a wanker. Are you an absolute arsehole? Okay, he can't hear anything for shit. Okay, Connor, I'm going to need you. <laughs> I'm going to need you here to answer these questions. Okay, darling. Now, I'm going to ask John these questions that you asked me. Okay, okay, darling. Okay, so the first question I'm going to okay, ask him darling. is, what are you most likely to do on a Sunday? Now, you've given us the options. Sleep in his boxer shorts. So you're going to sleep in your boxer shorts. B, drink booze while singing to God Save the why Queen. You, why are you saying that? Because I don't know the answer to my own question, do I? But you're going to tell me what he thinks. They don't know the answer, okay. do they? Okay. okay. Sorry. This okay. Is, we I got confused, darling. Didn't rehearse this shit. I'm not used to this kind of fun stuff, you know what I mean, Bear? So, just to recap... Is John going to say, in answer to, what is, what are you most likely to do on a Sunday? Is John going to say, sleep in your boxer shorts, B, drink booze while singing God Save the Queen, or C, tell you to do one? I think he'll probably expect me to be in my boxes, darling. So he reckons that you are going to say A. Okay? Yeah, okay, darling. Next, next question. If it's your last day, what would you do? Is John going to say you're going to run around naked? Oh, naked, darling. Is he going to say you're going to drink until you pass out? Oh, darling. Or C, become king of the world and get everyone to dress up as Jeremy Clarkson. Oh, what Jeremy Clarkson. What do you think Clarkson. John's going to oh, say? I reckon he'll say C, darling. Okay. Jeremy Clarkson gives me right on there. Well, he says C. Oh, eh? Well, yes. we'll find out later. This couldn't Jeremy be any Clarkson. more camp. This, anyway, anyway, and the final, final third question, guys. Right, what's Connor's favourite TV channel? Is John going to say the channel Dave? Is he going to say B, BBC Three, or C, Pornhub? 
What do you think he's going to say? I reckon he'll be saying porn. Oh. Porn hub. You reckon he's going to say porn hub? Okay, so that's the answer to that. Okay then. Well, <laughs> and that's how means you can take headphones off. Welcome back to the game, Mr. Jonathan. Come and join us here. Okay, I'm going to need you here, and I'm going to need you over there. Where? In the chair. Just sit anywhere you want. Just look beautiful. Right. Oh, I would very beautiful. Okay, guy. John. While she was sitting there listening to some banging tunes, I asked Connor what you would say. You might want to turn around, otherwise it looks like a conference. There we go. <laughs> it looks too serious. It's not a politician show. Anyway. Oh, hold on. The phone is ringing. Hello. You picked up a McDonald's cheeseburger for that unpleasant. Well, bring it in then. Oh. Sorry, it's just. Great. Product placement, darling. Anyway, I asked Connor, what would you say to this? What would Connor do on a Sunday morning? Would he A, sleep in his boxer shorts, B, drink booze while singing God Save the Queen, or C, tell you to fucking do one? What do you think he thought you would say? B. You reckon B. Oh, it's not a match, I'm afraid. It's A! It's A! You beat his boxer shorts! A! This, have you seen my rendition of God Save oh. the Queen? Oh, <laughs> God Save the Queen! <laughs> Second question, guys. There's still time to pay for another packet of crisps. <laughs> right, number two. If it was Connor's last day, what would he do? Did he say A? run around naked did he say b drink until he passes out or c become king of the world and get everyone to dress up as jeremy clarkson what do you think he said c you reckon he said c the answer is a he'd run around naked you got it wrong two out of three but you know me? <laughs> obviously not but hey what do I know? I'm just Tommy Schofield. Anyway, see it. Okay, last but not least, you your third. There's no fun for you tonight, darling. <laughs> no fun, eh? Ooh, okay, okay. Anyway, we're not even past the watershed moment yet. Anyway, okay, the last and final question is, what's Connor's favourite TV channel? Did he say A, Dave, B, BBC3, or C, Pornhub? I'm going to say C. You're going to say C. I tell you, you're not right, it's A. Dave, nice top gear. Clarkson, even I know him better than you. Well, I'm afraid after that you didn't get any right. You don't, you any don't right. know me, darling. Didn't get any he right. doesn't know me. You didn't get any right. Well, I think it's time to change over as we put Connor under the headphones and John starts asking the questions. We're gonna be the first couple in Britain to get a divorce. Indeed, don't go anywhere. It's uh, Connor's turn in the hot seat, I'm afraid, while John tries to figure out more about him. Now, are you ready? Are you feeling good? Yeah. Do you Go think on. you're going to be able to figure out the answers? Yeah. Well, there's only one way to find out, people, after all. I'm just Tommy Schofield. Anyway, right, the first question, okay. What is Connor going to say? What would you do if you were stuck in a lift? Would you A, climb out, even though I don't know how you're going to climb out of a trap lift, but anyway. B, blow up condoms and make balloon animals. Or C, masturbate. B. You reckon he's going to say yeah. B? Well, I'm going to note that down. There we go. You thought it was B. Second question. What would you do when you're asleep on the sofa? Is Connor going to say A, fall off? B, sleepwalking wearing a dress, or C, touching your dog. What B. do you think he's going to say? B. B, interesting, ladies and gentlemen. B, he's going to say B. Okay. And your last question to try and secure any chance of winning more packets of crisps, ladies and gentlemen, is what would you do if he saw you with another, if you saw him with another man what would you do? Would you beat the guy up? Would you 
tie the guy up and take his clothes off. <laughs> or C, ask him if there's room for one more. C. You reckon C, eh? Ooh. You reckon C. Well, it's only time we got him out of the booth then, don't you think, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get him out of the booth. Hello. You can, uh, you can come and join in there. Darling, you're finished, are you? <laughs> oh, darling, that's some very hot music. That was hot and steamy in the booth there. Very hot and steamy. Like you don't want to go in there. You might want to clean the walls. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Hold on to the phone. Hold on. Hello? Are you joking? You keep lost like fuck. <laughs> So you keep lost. Late voters. Anyway. Late voters. How was that under the booth? Do you think, what do you think John's going to do? Well, considering I didn't hear anything, I don't know what's going to happen. Two are just perfect for each other. Right, yeah. Okay, here we go. I asked John this question. What would John do if he was stuck in a lift? Did he say A, climb out, B, Blow up condoms and make balloon animals, or C, masturbate. You would masturbate in the lift. So what are you going with? A, B, or C? C. I want to see you masturbate in the lift. I can say that that wasn't the right answer, I'm afraid. It was B, blow up condoms. What are you, oh, you remember that time in the hotel where you were make balloon animals in the no, yeah, you were! No, you must have been anywhere! You no, must have been in the sink! You must have been in the toilet! No, I don't. You must have been in the bloody bath the other day! Well, no. everyone must have been in the bath. I did last night. But Tell yeah. me more. <laughs> Done? <laughs> Send that to the Daily Mail in the morning. <laughs> anyway, number two. What would John do when he's asleep on the sofa? Did he A say fall off? Did he say B sleepwalking wearing a dress? Or oh, did he say C, touching with his dog? What did he think you were going to say? He'd probably fall out, considering now the sofa's about just big enough to comfort you. Not comfort, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, fuck it, whatever the word is. What do you think he said? A. A? You reckon that he would fall off? Yeah. What? It's not right, it's B. It's B, I'm afraid. Sleep walking, wearing I mean, a dress. To be honest, it's over the week, guy. It's about the size of a fucking bed, I'm looking at you. You gotta come to your Ava! Hey, you're, you're fucking, it's like I'm married to fucking Ava Bazaar! Alright, no! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! You're both fat! Okay, moving on. Oh, darling, you really? really good when you're oh, all right. I'm still wondering, that's just not because I'm under a light shade. Anyway, the third and final question for some bloody packets of crisps, but at the end of this day, it's gonna be going over with me. If the notes are getting some answers right, right, last question is what would John do if he saw you with another man? Did he A say he was gonna beat him up? Did he say B? He was gonna tie the guy up and take his clothes off? Or did he say C? Ask him if there's room for one more. No what one did he knew say? in that sick of perverted mind that you possess up there, you would probably say A. Is that your final answer? My final answer is A, darling. <sighs> Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but the answer was actually C. Ask oh, oh, would, you, would, you, one more. would you go and would you cheat another man for me? Mm. What? You would? You would? Mm. If you were doing that, I would. If you've mental. just tuned in, this is actually happening. This isn't the after show part. Right, come on, let me come on, let me come on, let me come on. This is actually what? happening. <laughs> of patience if you're still with us. Aren't you glad you're not paying a TV license for this? Let's calm down, dear. Right, at the end of that round, you, you dumb piss. You just dumb piss. You didn't get any points whatsoever. This is dreadful. But there's hope for round two, is it's gonna be the paddle game. Roll on round two, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Who has the weirdest fantasies. John, have you got the weirdest fantasies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just come back and join us at this moment. <laughs>
welcome back to round two, where uh, this is the battle <laughs> round. And this one's just bourbon, so let's get on with the game. What's going to happen is I'm going to ask these two questions. They've got to get the same answer in order oh, yeah, to get darling. a point. Now, I could say to you, um, who has the weirdest fantasies? And they both got the red one correct, so therefore they get a point. John, have you got the weirdest fantasies? Mm. Yeah, you didn't even deny it. Anyway, yes, darling. Right, let's get on with the game then, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Oh, yes, yeah. darling. Well, let's play the paddle game. Oh, darling. Woo! No expense spared. Anyway, right, here we go, guys. Right, who's got the biggest dick? I can't see. Yep, correct point there. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. <laughs> Who's more likely to be more out of breath from changing the bed sheets from the night before? And that's a match, well done. Um, who's more likely to cause the most accidents? And that's not a match, I'm afraid. <laughs> that's not a match. Next question. Who's more likely to have unexplainable objects under their bed. <laughs> and that's a match, well done. And the last question, I told you it was gonna be quick, but hey, some of us has got tea to eat. Anyway, if you were both held hostage and the only way you could both escape was for one of you to take it up the bally, who would take the plunge? <laughs> I can tell you that's not a match, I'm afraid. But, I think you got four out of five correct on that one. So well, that's yeah, the end of the way. I don't know, that it, whatever's on your screen is correct at the time. <laughs> hey, but you did get quite a lot of shit right. Mm. Are you ready for the all or nothing round as we go into round three? I am, yeah. darling. Let's go into round three Let's then, ladies and gentlemen. Darling. <laughs> No Asia. <laughs> 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 You're wondering why these two are laughing. Basically, spell check has put Asda as Asia. Oh, I'm just going to go down to Asia to buy some. I'm so bits. glad I read that before, but reading it out. But anyway, you might as well just come back and join us at this moment. This is round three. Oh, oh darling. Oh, look at the animation. Anyway. Asia, darling. <laughs> right. Basically, are you going to risk all the packets of crisps? <laughs> all right, Asda's got it. <laughs> They're not doing well in the stock market. Anyway, right, number three, round three, is going to be all or nothing. Do you want to risk what you've won so far, which is not a lot, for a golden pork pie? <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. Yes. And that, col that pork pie is currently sitting in the fridge right now, getting golden. Because it's a golden pork pie. Mm. <laughs> are you going to risk it? Or are you just going to go home? I think we are going we'll to risk, risk it. it. Because we do take risks. Hold on, the phone's ringing. Oh, it's the banker. He thinks you should risk it. Can I speak to this banker? You can speak to the banker. Hello, Mr. Banker. How are you today, darling? Okay, Mr. Banker. A, f a pork pie. I'm going to lose everything for a FUCKING PORK PIE ON A FUCKING GAME SHOW! Right. Okay, darling. Now you've got that out of your chest. Here is the important question to risk it. Are you going to risk it? Yeah, we're going to risk it, darling. Would you risk it for a pork pie? Are you will, darling. Yeah. Alright, a lot of states here for a pork pie. Rather than me. Anyway, the last question is for you, John. I'm going to need you to switch around a little bit, because this is his question. Alright. Think about that pork pie. Anyway. <laughs> Right, this is the question that separates the men from the women, but in your case, the camp from the campus. Right, the question is, what would Connor do if he won the lottery? If he won the lottery, ladies and gentlemen, what would Connor do if he won the lottery? Did he say A? Buy all the condoms in Asia and have a condom <laughs> fight. Asda, if you're keeping up with us. B, have a boob job so he can have something to play with. Hey, we've all thought about it. Or C, recreate the film The Hangover. What did Connor say? I think Connor would have said A. 
you reckon he would have said A, buy all the condoms in Asda slash Asia and have a condom fight? Well, I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you guys. You've only got to done it, yeah! yeah. Now, right, basically, I can't find your prize. Now, I would say that you're going away with a very small, a very small clock, but because I, because a budget is not that big, I'm, I'm trying to find your prize. I don't know where the prize has gone. <laughs> Okay, I found the prize, bear with me. Right, you hold on to that. <laughs> right, hold on. Oh dear. Really? Oh yes, it has. Okay. I'm gonna find the prize. These two are gonna entertain you for the next 30 seconds. You know what, darling? What's this game treasure we're doing, darling? Why did we do this, darling? A bit of fun, darling. Right, <laughs> oh, oh, hi, darling. <laughs> I'm really sorry if I've bored you to death. We're right, good, darling, we're keeping the camera in tent. Right, I don't know where the phone's gone, but oh, <laughs> shit, right. <laughs> well, after you destroyed our <laughs> phone. <laughs> One moment. One moment. This is how much they love Britain. <laughs> the phone is still in one piece. Right, basically, you hold that. <laughs> You guys, I thought the clock was going to be more damaged. You guys may not walk away with a desktop clock, but what you do walk away with is a wall clock. Here we go. Barry's not included. <laughs> <laughs> but all I can say on that note is these two are some very happy customers. And while these two walk away with their prizes, it only leaves me, Tommy Schofield, to say with his broken set, Good night. <laughs> Good night. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah. I think we should dance. <laughs>